We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Florence Godry Perkins, who is the International Director for Government Affairs for Alcatel Lucent. Florence, thank you very much for being in the studio with us today. It's a pleasure, thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about your participation in the third advisory board meeting of the Empowering Development Initiative, ITU's extremely important initiative. And perhaps you could tell us why you are participating in this initiative and why it uh, is important to Alcatel Lucent. Mm -hmm. Well, the, this whole subject, I mean, the empowering um, board is trying to address a little bit uh, the content issue is once uh, we've solved uh, or we hopefully will solve in the years to come uh, the infrastructure uh, challenges that we still have, which is, you know, coverage and, of course, affordability. Um, then we need to be, of course, working in parallel on what we're going to do with this infrastructure because this um, mobile revolution that we are undergoing is offering incredible possibilities in terms of uh, the information we're going to be able to provide in all sorts of fields, you know, to, to, to people. And so it's very important to be working on this in parallel. It's complicated because it requires many, many fields to come together. It requires a lot of uh, cross-sector work. And so it's a very important, I think, uh, initiative in that respect because I think uh, there cannot be enough initiatives to try to make that happen because it's a, it's a complicated thing. Now, empowering, of course, can cover a number of things. I know that you've mostly focused on uh, health matters. How uh, can we link mobile technologies to improve health, especially in developing countries? Mm -hmm. Uh, mobile health is a subject that I am particularly passionate about and one that I've invested uh, and that we've invested as a company um, energy in, in the past five years and uh, again the ubiquity of, of mobile devices especially in the hands of people um, who don't have access to health services um, as readily, which is, you know, rural zones or uh, less developed countries where there's less in health infrastructure and doctors per se, all of a sudden this connectivity and this tool that's in everyone's pocket becomes um, something extremely powerful uh, in terms of um, many, many aspects actually of health, whether you're dealing with prevention, whether you're dealing with supply chain of medication, whether you're dealing with getting um, advice, for example, through uh, teleconferencing uh, to someone who may not have a, a uh, possibility to have access to a doctor, but there's many things like medical adherence. It's, there's many proven models out there that have shown incredible impact on, on what it can do to, to, to health in particular. And what are the main challenges for the furthering the use of mobile technologies in health and, and for sustainable development in general? Mm -hmm. um, there, there are quite, quite a few still. Um, it's a field that's been around for probably over 10 years now, but we are plagued with what we commonly refer to uh, in, in the field of mobile health by pilotitis. Um, although we're starting to move a little bit beyond that because there are some projects that have uh, shown some promise of scaling somewhat, um, we really, really have this challenge still to, to conquer. Um, the sustainability factor, working out also business models is not so simple. Um, the biggest challenge of all to me is, again, the complexity of the field and the number of the pieces of the puzzle that have to come together. Even in the technology field, it's very fragmented. There are many pieces that need to come together. And getting the technology field to work with the health sector is a complicated matter, I've found. We've been uh, working on some multi-stakeholder projects in uh, a few countries, and to me, that has been the most difficult thing. It hasn't been so hard, actually, to well, it's been hard enough, but to get, say, a health insurance company to work with telecom operators, to work with a pharma company, but where I find the silos to be the most difficult to break um, have been actually in government. To ensure that the Ministry of Communication works hand in hand with the Ministry of Health. Um, and that really um, is not easy, I have found from an operational standpoint. And as an ambassador for the Empowering Development Initiative, is there a message that you'd like to share with us? Well, where I'm really hoping this initiative is going to be able to perhaps make a difference and accelerate things is where actually ITU has a great reach, which is to 
uh, the ministries of communication and I think that there's still, as I said, one of the biggest challenges is getting the Ministry of Communication to work in an intersectorial manner with other ministries. So I'm really hoping that what we can uh, help do with this initiative is really push that message and help accelerate that. Well, that's Godfrey Perkins. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.